Terry, like, this opens up the door for you to have big games. Because make no mistake now, next week becomes a big game. It does. Um, because, yeah, the season's not over because they won, right. obviously. But I think we were talking last week, what happens if they lose? You're 0-2 facing Minnesota, who's playing pretty well. So you're looking at a, a possible 0-3 start. So that's why this game was so important. It changed for them. everything. And it, it does. I still don't think they're going to the playoffs. But what this does is you don't have this big cloud of doubt around the whole community. You don't have uh, people or even players doubting Dan Campbell and his abilities as a coach. You have some optimism. You have some hope. So that's what yesterday did for you. Right. And, and that is how fine the line is, D-Mac. It, it's, I, I wasn't overstating it last week when I said if you lose this game you're 0-2 and you're cooked conversely you win and now the Minnesota game even if you lose your season's not over because then you got you're coming back home to play Seattle you can get right get to 2-2 two and two, and then figure some things out from that's how big this is well it is and I think that a lot of the times it was obviously easier when it was 16 teams but but a lot of uh, GMs and coaches break it down to four game segments. Right, quarters. So, so the first quarter of this season for the Detroit Lions, I expect them to be two and two, right? To beat Washington and to beat Seattle. But every time you do something, you put yourself in a position, like you said, Neil, the small little things about that should be the message. That's winning. The message in the, uh, this week uh, in Allen Park is we're playing for the top of the division. We have a chance to play for the top of the division. When's the last time we did that? I know it's third game of the year, but that's the mentality, right? It's sort of to what DeAndre Swift was speaking to at the end of, of the clip in the locker room is remember, remember this feeling because the feeling of winning is contagious too. Trust me.